I know. Not exactly ideal, but I lost my pocket knife. So I went ahead and placed a bid for this camera, brand new, on eBay, and ended up snatching this for $15, and uh, the retail price is much higher. I don't know if I would buy this if it was at retail price. We have a toy camera here, and uh, as you can see, it's a fisheye. They've got the little horse there. So we're going to open this up, and this is the Fisheye 2, although there was a Fisheye 1, they, they sell both of them, and they're actually different. This comes with a viewfinder and flash, and the Fisheye 1 doesn't. And this takes 35mm film, which is the best part about this. Here we go. You can roll up the film here, and you put it in. And... There's the fisheye logo. This is the viewfinder. And it's removable. I don't know why you would want to remove it, so we're just gonna snap it back on here. One thing you gotta remember with this camera is that when you shoot the photo, it's not gonna be exactly what you saw on your viewfinder because this is not a lens reflex camera it's got the lens cap attached to the hand strap and it's kind of made out of rubber I've heard some people complain that it's easy to lose also in the box basically uh, this Lomography little booklet that has a whole bunch of photos probably has some information uh, we got instructions here that we're not going to worry about right now. We've got an advertisement for another camera by Lomo. And we've got the manual slash poster deal that you have to unfold. Here it is compared to my Canon Rebel SL1. As you can see, it's pretty small. It's even smaller than my Polaroid 300, the instant film camera. So this is going to be a joy to play with. You know, it's a toy camera. We've got the little film roll here. And I know you can take double exposures by flicking the switch here. So there's three modes to this. The L mode on top is actually going to lock the shutter. The N is for regular capture, and B is bulb mode, of course, where you can open up that shutter for a long time. Uh, here is where you put the battery. So I'm going to be taking some test shots with this and posting them up on a different video. Yeah, I just wanted to show my new toy, uh, let you guys know that you can probably get some of these on eBay for a great price. I probably wouldn't buy them new because for the same price you could get other types of 35 millimeter cameras. So yeah, have a look and let me know what you think in the comments.